All right, this is our final story of the day. Let's see, I don't know how much I'm going to yell uh, while I uh, address this story because it also has to do with the infuriating fucking Democratic Party uh, that, uh, <laughs> that I hate so much. Um, I don't know if I hate them. I, I'm just viscerally disappointed with them. Is that a good way to put it? That Yeah, okay. That, that won't have them be like, well, you're just an angry person. It's all, you know, the fucking tone police won't come come at me uh so let's so let's check this out i gotta bring my notes back so the nevada democratic party is now controlled by uh every single person that was endorsed by the dsa the democratic socialists of america uh the nevada democratic socialists of america endorsed a bunch of these people and all of them won every single one of them beat out the corporate dems so what do they do Right. So Judith Whitmer, she's the chair of the Nevada Democratic Party. She's the chair of the party. Uh, she gets an email from the, the former chair saying, hey, I quit. Uh, and uh, everybody else quit, too. We're taking our severance. Um, and also, we moved a bunch of money. Adios. Uh, and she goes, wait, what? Like, I thought we were going to have you, you guys remember how the Democrats were like, oh, we need a peaceful transition of power. We have to be good about the peaceful transition of power. Trump is not doing a peaceful transition of power. This is bullshit. He's not doing it. This is not a peaceful trans transition of power. This is this is the opposite of that. So here's what happened. She she the the former chair emails Judith Whitmer, who is now the new chair of the Nevada Democratic Party, and basically says, "We quit." We're taking our severance. By the way, we're quitting uh, because you would have fired us anyway, which is not true because Judith Whitmer was like, actually, I kind of was like hoping to work with you as far of as far as like a transition team. So I don't know why you guys quit. This kind of seems a little crazy. Uh, <laughs> so I need to I need to pull up an image. I, I unfortunately I don't know if I could share the image on StreamYard here. But I can read what is in these, what is in the image, uh, so that you guys can at least be aware of what's going on. So, four hundred and fifty thousand dollars got removed from the Dem Nevada Democratic, um, the Nevada Democratic Party, and got put into the DSCC, their senatorial committee, uh, and they're and they're pushing, you know, they're going to use that money to push the corporate Democrat to get a seat uh, in Congress. Uh, as a representative of Nevada. And if there's any more proof that we need that money is really what runs our elections and runs our politics, uh, you're looking at it. And if, there any, if there's any more proof that Democrats hate progressives more than they hate Republicans, you're fucking looking at it. All of the progressives won. All of the people endorsed by the DSA won. And the corporate Dems quit. And they take a bunch of money that was that, that was specifically meant for their funds and they moved it to a different committee to see if they can get a, a, their, their uh, fucking corporate candidate in a higher position. How much more proof do you want? It's being spelled out for you. Why are people still with this party? Why are they not leaving and joining the People's Party? Why are they not leaving and joining the Green Party? Why are they not leaving and joining the Socialist Alternative and the Socialist Equal Equality Party? What is the point of staying with this party that is doing absolutely nothing to help you and then stealing money from progressives? <laughs> That's basically what they did. They took $450,000 and moved it elsewhere. And here's the thing. A lot of where they moved it to, because it, it went to like the DSCC and organizations that like are partnered with the DNCC, most of them not even in fucking Nevada. Uh, you got uh, some money went to 614 Strategies in Ohio, NP Consulting in D.C., Majority Institute in Colorado, Strategy Group in Chicago, GPS Impact in Des Moines. Like, what? You know, like it, it's 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 incredible to me that this is this is happening right in front of our faces, and people can still somehow ignore it.
And here's the crazy part. Thanks to Citizens United, all this is up and up, fair game, totally legal, totally fine. Which is part of the reason why the Democrats really don't go up against um, anything like Citizens United, because it helps them keep progressives out of the office. It helps them keep progressives out of the Senate and the House and mayoral campaigns and gubernatorial seats. Because they don't like progressives. They don't like people like you or probably most of the people that are watching here. Despite the fact that when you run on those policies, you win. Nobody wants the corporate Democrat that's like, we're going to give you access to health care. It'll be like right here, but it's in front of like in order for you to get your health care, like it's right there. But you got to like jump over a moat filled with crocodiles. So it's like it's there. That's America's health care plan. America's health care plan under both the Democrats and the Republicans is you have health care. It's right there. But you got to jump over this moat full of crocodiles first. You got access to health care. We gave you the access to it. You just got to, what are you going to, what, we're going to give you a bridge to cross? Come on. You got to pull yourself up by your bridge straps. That's the fucking, it's insane. I mean, it's right in front of you. They hate progressives and money dominates our election process. Been saying it for years. People that run on things like universal health care, increasing the minimum wage, uh, and it should be beyond $15 at this point, uh, clean, you know, banning fracking, looking for alternative energy sources, a universal basic income. Those people win. And the Democratic Party is like, all the things that help win, we're just not going to be against. Are you still going to vote for us? I got a rainbow pin. I got something that says Black Lives Matter. Even though I'm going to probably, uh, you know, give more money to a racist police system. But Black Lives Matter. I whispered it. It's nice. It's nice, isn't it? <laughs> they're just, they're, they're like, um, the Democrats are just wolves in sheep clothing. That's the whole party. The whole party is just wolves in rainbow sheep's clothing. That's all they are. It's fucking sad and pathetic. And, and what, what is even more disappointing to me is that I know very intelligent people, kind-hearted, empathetic, loving, logical, smart, intelligent people that throw all of that shit away to support the party that will never fucking support them, that will never support what their actual core beliefs are. And in order to support this party, because you've sunk your costs into this party, those people will throw their beliefs out the window just so they can keep that D by their name. Again, what is the fucking point of this party? All right. Uh, Holly, there's no, it says there's no reforming the Democratic Party, and you are correct. Uh, Eugene Debs proved that in the 1800s. He was in the Indiana House of Representatives, and he basically saw... Uh, you know, it, it took a lot of work for him to convince Democrats in the House in Indiana to help um, workers, railroad workers that were injured and needed to take care of their family. And, you know, they were being let go. Uh, and he put a bill forward to help them. And it took a lot of convincing for the Democrats to be on board. And then it hit the Senate floor, immediately killed. That was, what, 200 plus years ago? Socialist Alternative is folding into DSA, I read. I did not know that. I will have to look into that. Um, I know I know, Shama Savant was part of the Socialist Alternative Party, and she's on the city council in Seattle, and she did some fucking uh, damage. She did some real fucking damage. <laughs> it's an abusive relationship with the Democratic Party. It is. <laughs> Uh, Rod, you put up a, a link. Uh, Looks on poor people, a tale uh, of an economic lesson, why the poor are, quote unquote, useful. I will I will have to take a look at that. That is an, a very interesting title. Uh, and thank you for sharing that link. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed this content, uh, please make sure that you hit the like button. 
hit the share button, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel, whether it's on Rockfin, YouTube, or Facebook. Especially Facebook and YouTube, they often uncensor pe uh, un unsubscribe people and they censor this content. So if you want to keep up to date, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that bell button so you get notifications of when I'm putting up new videos and when I am going live. I usually go live uh, on uh, Fridays and on Mondays. Uh, and if you want more information about a, a bunch of the other stuff that I do, uh, whether it's my Forkful of Noodles podcast, the Taboo Table Talk interview podcast, or the Road Reflections live streams, uh, make sure you go to my website, krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A dot -H -H com. There you'll find past episodes of, uh, of various shows that I, uh, that I do, as well as information about when I'll be performing live virtual comedy shows, the Forkful of Noodles live virtual comedy shows. Uh, the dates and tickets will be available directly on my website. But if you're also on financial stable ground, you can help contribute to the show financially by making a one-time donation or becoming a sustaining member, which gets you free tickets and bonus content. And go to krishmohanhaha.com slash donate to, to make any kind of financial contributions. But if you can't, it's not a necessity. Most of my stuff is is available for free and for everybody to enjoy. So again, go to krishmohanhaha.com. It's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A. -H 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 -A, and I hope to see you at the next video.